Hi, so today we're going to be reading Jeremy Strong. A hundred mile an hour dog. Streaket is a mixed up kind of dog. You can see from her thin body and powerful legs that she's got a lot of greyhound blood in her along with quite a bit of furry and a large chunk of whirlwind. Nobody in our family likes walking her and this is hardly surprising. Strike it on. I'll accelerate a torpedo. She can do zero to a hundred miles per hour in the blink of an eye. She usually vanished over the far horizon long before you have time to yell. Okay, let's just carry on. Okay, let's carry on. 30 pounds, I repeated. Walker, every day for two weeks, Mum nodded and began to pedal. I sat down to help. I think. 30 pounds was a lot of money. I can do loads of things with that. On the other hand, and this was the big crunch. I would have to walk straight here. Now, if someone came up to you in the street and said, Hey, what's the worst torture you can think of? You might suggest boiling in oil or having to watch the golf on TV with your dad or even with the nine in times table. But without doubt, I would have to stay walking streaker this is going to be a big decanism for me I recognised there had to be some way of controlling me. After all, she was only a dog. Humans are clever than animals. Humans have bigger brains. Humans rule the animal kingdom. I seem to remember that just as I was thinking this streaker came purpling in from the kitchen and landed on my lap like a mini meteorite when both crashed the floor where she sat on my chest looking very pleased with herself. Can I have some money? Now I asked. See, I am not stupid. Of course, mum is not stupid either. How about half now and half when I finish? Mum free wheels at the end of the holiday. 
when the job is finished, I'll give you the money so that was that I had I had agreed to walk the dog every day for two weeks, and that turned out to be only one for my problems. That Easter, I must have been totally mad. I watched this film about a tank battle once. There were all, all these invincible armor plates and tanks. They were even bazooka proof. The heroes were losing, of course, until clever, clever dogs. Forget his real name. Okay, but we brilliant plan. We must use the tanks and strength against itself. He said. If it's impossible for a shell to get through or on a plate, it must be impossible for bullet for a shell to get out. We shall blow them up from the inside. And that's exactly what they did. Brilliant film. Dad didn't like it. Of course, he didn't like noisy action films with lots of explosions. He prefers watching a golf. But have you ever seen an exciting golf match? I reckon golf would be a lot more fun if there were a couple of tanks playing and a few explosions. It boom. It would be Quite interesting to see a nice big tank rumble across the green square up on the tee lift. It's powerful barrel and shoot golf balls right across the golf course. So what has all they got to do with streaker? Well, I spent ages trying to work the best way of dealing with the dog. I asked myself, what does Freaker do best? Really shown at his speed, Freaker was a rocket on forwards. Maybe I can use her fantastic speed to my own ends and that was when I remembered my roller skates. I hadn't used them for months. I hadn't seen them for months. All I had to do was on Tessica's lead. And that way she would get exercise and I'd get a free ride. You got and you've got to admit it was a pretty jammy idea. Mum and Dad and Dad didn't think much of it though. Mum sat at the lunch table in silence, eating her 99% fat free yogurt that tastes like washing up water, he obviously wasn't impressed. She didn't like, she didn't think much of the yoghurt either. I know you clever ideas, Trevor, said Dad. They never work. Yes, they do. I protest, protested, and um, I protested. Look what happened when you tried to build it. a sewing course in your bedroom. Parents have 
this amazing way of bringing your most spectacular failures into general conversation, don't they? I can feel myself turning red, red, bright red. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know that fixing a squiggly bit of road to be selling would bring all the plaster down Dad grunted and Mum pushed the remains off her yoghurt across the table. Would you like to finish it for me? She asked. Why do you keep trying to poison me? I want to know, Mum. To, to know. Mum gave me one smile and chewed the end of it. A celery stick. I was demitted. True, then wrong. I launched a major experimentary search into the bowls of my wardrobe and eventually the wheels and the they gave off a very satisfying whoosh. How could this plan fail? I kept straightly tied to the gatepost while I put on my skates. Then I carefully unwound the lead from the gate. Wrapped it round one wrist and crouched it lay behind a okay streak lift off. So quickly reaching something that felt like match was a lid pounded the pavement and she bought tuppies as we flew along. She loved it. I simply held on to the lead and I felt the wire bracing through my hair. We skidded round the corner in great style and streak her head up the main road towards the street market. I recognised it was time to slow down in a bit, but of course I didn't have any brakes. And neither did the dog. And Amy had besides this time. Streaker had switched to turbo boost and there was no stopping her. We hit the market with maximum speed. Scattering the shoppers in every direction, I held on for dear life as zigzagged through the startled crowd, carrying, carrying wildly from one side to the other. <coughs> it was all I could do to stay upright. Breaker suddenly swerved voluntarily to one. The end. See you next time.